demonstrations this morning on college campuses across the country over the war in the Middle East and just as Passover celebrations are about to begin. The latest protest is taking place at Yale University and there have been some arrests. Bob DiCastro has been following this developing story. He joins us now with an update. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, Yale said more than 47 students were arrested and will be referred for disciplinary action potentially including suspension. Pro-Palestinian protesters set up an encampment three days ago. School officials said it made repeated efforts to reach out to those protesters and concerned about the safety and security on campus warned the demonstrators that they could be arrested. Meantime, it is day six of protests on the campus of Columbia in New York City. All classes are now being held virtually today amid heated demonstrations over the weekend and fears for student safety. President Manoush Shafiq said the move online was to de-escalate the rancor and quote, give us all a chance to consider next steps. We need a reset, she said in a statement. Last Thursday, the NYPD was called in to help. More than 100 protesters were arrested. A prominent rabbi at Columbia warned Jewish students to go home on Sunday and not return to campus because of extreme anti-Semitism. Early in the morning, the NYPD held a press conference. They said they have not received any reports of physical harm against any student, and they stressed any kind of violence or property damage is not going to be tolerated. Last night was probably the most anti-Semitic night that Jews have had to endure here on Columbia over the last six to seven months, and it has made us feel incredibly unsafe. President Biden released a statement condemning activists for acts of anti-Semitism at Columbia. Organizers have also condemned hateful statements, but say they do not represent the spirit of the protests. Over to you.